Hey, good morning, church. How are we? I hope you're well. My name's Julian, and I'm part of the North Location team. And it's my privilege to bring the devotion to you this morning. We are looking at our favourite verses, or verses that stand out to us as Christians. And to me, for me, sorry, today I want to talk about Philippians 4, verse 6. So Philippians 4, verse 6, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. The message translation puts it like this, don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers, letting God know your concerns. Now I picked this scripture because I'm a, well, long-standing AOG person. I'm brought up in AOG and uh, it's been my life really. And uh, when I was baptized, I don't know if this is still a thing, but you were given a baptism promise. So you went down into the water and before they push you under, uh, one of the elders or one of the ministers of the church would just say, Julian, this is your promise, your baptism promise. And this was mine. And so it's always been highlighted in whichever Bible I have currently, something that I always look back to. And that's why I want to just talk about it today. I guess we've come out of a strange time, haven't we? And we have probably seen anxiety go through the roof. Most people are anxious about something. And uh, as Christians, we're told not to be anxious, but to bring our requests to God. And that doesn't mean that we're not concerned about anything and we just live a life that's blinkered and we never ever think, oh, I'm not sure what's gonna happen there. But what we need to do is when these situations arise, is bringing them to God. I'm reminded of a story that uh, I was told, and uh, it's probably not true, but there was a grandma in America who was frightened to death of flying. And her children, grandchildren took her to the, to the airport put her on the plane, she went off on her travels. When she came back, they said to her, see, Granny, that wasn't that bad, was it? How was it for you? She said, no, it was okay, but I was conscious not to put my full weight down on the floor. And sometimes, as Christians, that's what we're like. We know that God is there for us, we know God's gonna help us, but sometimes we won't put our full weight, our full trust into him, and we try and fix things ourselves. And that's not what the Bible's telling us here. It's saying, don't be anxious about anything. But bring your request to God. You know, we, we can anxious about lots of things. We can be anxious about finances. How am I going to pay the bills this week? How am I going to have enough money to live the rest of my life when I retire? Which is a point for me that's coming closer and closer. Will I have enough money to survive in my retirement age? I hope so. And uh, we can worry and be anxious about things like that. We can be anxious about our health. Again, something for me as I'm getting older. In years, you can see the grey hairs. We're anxious about our health. You know, every little ailment that we get, it's like, oh, oh, what's that? Do I Google it? No, you don't Google it. That's the last thing you need to do. When you get out of bed and it takes your legs about five minutes to get going, we suddenly think, oh, is it, is it rheumatism? I'm getting arthritis. We get anxious and worry about things like this. We're anxious and worry about our children's parents. And trust me, when they get married and move on, you've still got the same problems, you've still got the same anxiety, as they might have knew about questions, Oliver, haven't you? But you've got to get, put those casts, cast those anxieties, cast those worries, those burdens onto God. You know, when Catherine and myself found out about Oliver and when Catherine was expecting and the heart condition that he had, we were anxious, we had worries. But I am so glad at that time that we had the opportunity, we had God with us, that we could say to God, God, this is over to you. He's your child. You've given us to him. We place him into your hands and we could place our anxiety and our worries back to God and we pray to God that his will be done and look at him now. But that's what we need to do as Christians. There's a few things that I just wanted to talk about and just highlight in that. So first of all, we need to pray. And we pray and we're thankful for what God has done already. And we say, God, do it again. So first of all, we start from a place of prayer. And when that anxiety, when that worry comes on, we say, God, Right, before we do anything else, we are praying. We petition. So we write our things down if we need to, and we present them to God. God, we need you to do this. You know the situation. Now, that's not demanding of God. That's bringing a petition to God. Now, God knows the situation. He knows the circumstance you're going through, but he wants to hear it from you. He wants to, you to say to him, God, can you help in this situation? Can you intervene in this situation? And the, the, uh, the sort of the crux of that is in your time God because so many times we want him to intervene in our time scale 
And that's not what happened. Similar to Oliver, the situation, Catherine Miller believed that God would heal him at birth. I didn't have that conviction. I just felt God was sustaining. And so each day, we daily petition God, God sustain him, God look after him. And that's what we've got to do. We present our request to God, our petition to God. And finally, we come with an attitude of thanksgiving. I'm sure if we were all together in one room now, it would be a big room. But if we went round, every single one of us would be able to be thankful for one thing that God had done in our lives. So always remember that, no matter what situation you're going through, no matter what the anxiety is, always remember that one thing in the past that God did. God came through in this situation. God came through in that area. God brought the finances in. God provided healing in that situation. Always have that at the forefront of your mind when you are petitioning God, when you are going to God with anxiety and worries, because that's what we need to build up. We need to realise that God is a good God. Now, yeah, sometimes prayers are not answered, and we don't know why that is, but that's not our job. Our job is to remain thankful and to continue to ask God. I'm going to pray for your church, and then we're going to go. God, I just thank you for every single person that is watching or reading this devotion, and I just pray that today, as they go through their daily, their daily business, that you will be with them. God, for those people that are really anxious at the moment about certain things, that God, you will just help them, that you will help cast their, their worries and their anxieties onto you. God, I pray you'll give them a day that is stress-free, that is free of anxiety, that is free of worry. God, I pray for us as a church, that as we move forward into this next season, that you will be with us and that God will see many people come to know you through the life of Audacious Church in all our locations, in all our campuses. Give us a great day now. Amen. Hey, we love you, church. Have a great day or a great evening whenever you're watching this and we'll see you at church on Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.